Hello YouTube Universe, Emily here, and today I am bringing you another makeup tutorial. It's a lilac purple eyelid with a smoked out crease and a very nude lip and really, really bronzed, glowy skin. So enough with the chit chat, let's get on to the tutorial. Starting from scratch, I'm using my Cetaphil moisturizer for sensitive skin and applying that in a massage type of way all over my face and bringing that down to my neck letting that set for about two minutes then using my urban decay professional primer oldie but a goodie i'm using that mostly in the t-zone and on my cheeks as well then using my lancome taint idol 24-hour makeup foundation and my elf powder brush i'm going to dot the foundation on the areas i'm going to be working with and then tapping away with that powder brush from e.l.f. YouTube Universe, I honestly believe that my skin and my makeup routine has changed because of this brush. It makes me super happy. I love this brush so much because the finish it gives is flawless. And I never forget to bring it down to my neck. Now using my Smooth Illuminating Primer from NYC, and this stippling brush from Crown Brush, I believe. I'm going to be taking that on the highest points of my face. High on the cheekbones, a little bit above the eyebrow, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow, and slightly on the chin. We will be topping the skin with powder later, but this step really helps illuminate the skin beneath all that makeup. Now taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and my complexion brush from e.l.f. I'm just going to be dabbing this on the areas where I want to set, but I am avoiding my under eyes because I am going to be applying correctors and concealers under there shortly. Using my Hula bronzer and this big fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply this almost all over my face, kind of avoiding the center. and across the bridge of my nose as well to give me that sun-kissed look and this bronzer is kind of like my transition bronzer which you will understand in a little bit now using this red and yellow corrector concealers i'm going to be mixing those two together and using my laura mercier i believe this is called a setting brush love this brush so much i'm going to be applying this under my eyes to cancel out any blues and purples under there and then taking my Garnier Anti Dark Circle Roller Concealer slash Highlighter. It's like a two-in-one. And applying that on the areas where I want to highlight. Like I said in my previous video, it does look like a lot, but it's a thin concealer. So it's like a light coverage concealer, so you can get away with applying a lot. Taking my Real Techniques Face Expert Brush and blending that away. Now using this blush brush from e.l.f. and my contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm taking that yellow powder and the other matte light powder, mixing those two together and applying that everywhere I applied the concealer. This blush brush is perfect for setting under the eyes. Now I'm taking that big fluffy brush and the hula bronzer again and just reapplying. Now, using this bronzer, it's actually a powder foundation, Deep 50 from Sephora, and my Lancome blush brush. I'm pretty much applying this everywhere I applied that Hula bronzer, just to deepen my skin and make it look slightly more tanned. Now, taking this goat-haired blush brush from London Brush Company and taking that middle contour shade from the Anastasia contour palette, and I'm just going to be sculpting out certain features of my face like my cheekbones and I'm going to be taking that across the top of my forehead and my temples and of course along my jawline and the sides of my neck. Going back to that complexion brush from e.l.f. I'm going to be blending everything together making sure there are no harsh lines. Now taking this Shimmer Powder Brush in Bronze from Makeover Essentials Cosmetics. 
I'm going to be applying that on the highest points of my face again. On the cheekbones, above the eyebrow, over the nose, and slightly on the chin and cupid's bow. This glow is on another level, you guys. I'm also applying that down the neck and across my collarbones. Now, using my Doucet eyebrow pencil, current favorite, sharpening that, brushing over my hairs, making sure I know what I'm working with, and just filling in any gaps. And that's pretty much how I fill in my eyebrows. Now, using this small Face Secrets blending brush and the two contour shades from my Anastasia contour kit, I'm just gonna be slimming down my nose a little bit and blending out those harsh edges with my face expert brush from Real Techniques. MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime the eyes and MAC 217 blending brush. Dipping that in my Hoola bronzer and using that as my transition shade. And taking this synthetic blending brush to blend out those edges. Now using this Coconut Husk Single Eyeshadow from Coastal Scents and this blending brush from London Brush Company, also goat hair. I'm going to be applying that into the crease and blending out with this 217 again. Now taking that MAC Painterly and a synthetic brush, I'm going to be reapplying that on my eyelids again to brighten up the lid because I'm going to be applying a bright color. Using this beautiful lilac purple shade and this flat synthetic brush from London Brush Company, I'm going to be applying that on my lid and really packing it on. Taking Handwritten from MAC and back to that uh, blending eyeshadow from London Brush Company, I'm going to deepen the crease and blending that out with my 217. Then taking this gel black eyeliner and a fine artist paintbrush, I'm going to be applying a wing. If you guys are interested, I purchased this paintbrush from Michaels. Now taking my nude eye pencil from NARS and applying that to my waterline. I did forget to mention in the beginning that I did include a pop of blue in the eye makeup. So using Indigo Blue Liquid Liner from Wet n Wild, I'm just going to be drawing two small lines in the inner corner. Now using this small blending goat hair brush from London Brush Company and handwritten from MAC, I'm just going to blend out the lower lash line with that. Using Tweezer Man Eyelash Curls, I'm curling my lashes for about 15 seconds and applying that with my Great Lash Mascara, I believe that's what it's called, on my top and lower lashes and cleaning up any messy mess with Q-tips. Applying some corner lashes. Now taking Sephora Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Mauve or Mauve, however you want to say it. Lining my lips with that, overdrawing them a little bit. I love overdrawing my lips. It's just, I have small lips you guys and I'm scared of lip injections so I'm going to use makeup. Now using Rock and Rose Lip Liner from Jordana to deepen out those outer corners and make my lips slightly more pouty. Then using this really pale shade lipstick from Sephora, I am going to apply that to the center of my lips and blend that out in, with my fingers in dabbing motions. Then using this Burt's Bees lip gloss in Autumn Haze number 203 and applying that to the center. Gorgeous lip gloss. Now I'm using Mulani's blush with my Lancome blush brush and applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Then using a pencil brush and nylon eyeshadow from MAC and using that to highlight the inner corners, my cupid's bow a little bit, and my eyebrow bone down the bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna go back to that London, uh, that Lancome blush brush and apply that to my cheekbones and above my brows for that intense highlight. And that's the finished look. All right, YouTube universe, that is it for today's video. If you guys have any requests on anything you want me to film in particular, whether it's a certain makeup tutorial or vlog or Q 
Q&A, whatever. Um, just leave it down below and it'll just inspire me for future videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial that I filmed for you. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye!